Have you ever wondered what life would be like without long, cringy, unnecessary intros? Yeah, me neither. Today, Google announced on their Android dev blog that they'll be launching the third developer preview for Android Wear 2.0. The most notable addition to Android Wear 2.0 is the inclusion of the Google Play Store. This will, of course, allow users to download and install apps directly to the watch without having to install them first on the phone. It is also the beginning of allowing Android Wear to be less dependent on phones. This all sounds fine and dandy, but the company also announced that it will be delaying the launch of the update from this fall to sometime early 2017. The reason for the delay is not because of specific hardware delays, but instead it allows Google to hit the quality requirements it has for Android Wear. How many of you are excited for Android Wear 2.0? Do you even have a smartwatch? Let us know down below. Speaking of Google and smart things, five of the biggest tech companies have come together for a collaboration to help the public understand the benefits of artificial intelligence. Those companies include Amazon, Facebook, Google, IBM, and Microsoft. They're calling this collab the Partnership on Artificial Intelligence to Benefit People in Society, or Partnership on AI for short. These companies intend to conduct research, organize discussions, share insight, respond to questions from the public and media, and a whole lot more. This makes sense since all five companies have AI projects like Watson, DeepMind, Alexa, and Cortana. Hopefully this isn't some weird ploy to start Skynet and make killer robots. Because, hello, it's possible. It looks like the Advertising Standards Authority has launched an investigation into No Man's Sky. Reps told Eurogamer that this whole thing started after receiving complaints about the game's advertising. Reports are saying that the ASA investigation is focused on a number of game features highlighted on the game's Steam page, but allegedly are not present in the same form in the final game. Features like ship and animal behavior, load times, overall graphics quality, and much more. The ASA has already contacted both Hello Games, the developer, and Valve and have asked them to respond to some questions relating to the online marketing for the game. Time for... Huh. Oops. There we go. Very creative, Andrew. I like it. Send us your submissions of snippy snippets and our other new segments on Twitter. The Raspberry Pi gets a visual overhaul through the Pixel desktop environment. Google's Express home delivery service is expanding in the East Coast with 13 more states. More consumers will now be able to get items from stores like Whole Foods, Staples, and Costco without leaving their home. Looks like we're all going to start looking like the humans in the movie WALL-E. Speaking of Google, a new Google Map update adds OK Google voice commands to the app. According to US regulators, it's not only Samsung phones that are exploding, but some washing machines have also been exploding. Samsung just can't catch a break here. And reports are coming in saying that Spotify is looking to fortify its product against Apple Music and may be looking into buying SoundCloud. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Last week I asked you guys to send me some jokes and you guys did not disappoint. So here's one from Gleb. Gleb? Gleb. Gleb. Two fishes in a tank. One fish asks the other, do you know how to drive this thing? Good one. <laughs> Send us more with hashtag NCX Yo Dog and tweet it to us. This week is NCX's colossal sales event. The Canadian deal is an Asus MG248 Q24 inch gaming monitor for $350. That's a savings of over 60 bucks. The American deal is also a monitor, this time an LG Ultra Wide 34 inch IPS LCD for $650. That's a savings of over $250. Click here for the Canadian deal and click here for the American deal. And the rest of this week's sales savings will be right here. Oh, okay, and it'll be down below too. All right, that's it for Netling Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now if you excuse me, I need to go catch up on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and all the other shows before Jack finds out and scolds me because he has no one to talk to about the shows. Bye.